Hey everybody, it's me, Dana, aka Triple C, and welcome in to Craft Hour with Triple C, guys. Hello, hello, hello. I truly appreciate you guys if you're watching the replay. Thank you so much for that love and that support. For those who are coming in, I want to go ahead and greet everybody very shortly. I just want to say hello. It is Friday. What? Yes, it is the weekend, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. Going to be doing something for the weekend, I hope. I hope you're going to be able to find something to do, either with family or either be, you know, something to relax. It's a weekend. I like to have weekends to relax, guys. Um, I used to use weekends where I would be doing, um, you know, working and, um, you know, doing videos or, you know, doing someone else's videos. So now I am doing my, um, now I am um, taking the time to relax. So that's what I'll be doing this weekend, guys. I'm going to find a little something to throw on my lap. If I can find my lap throw that I put on. Mm. Have a little thrower I like to put on my lap, but I cannot find it, guys. And I, and I don't know why. I hope you guys are doing good. Come on in, guys. Give us a thumbs up. All right, I found me a lap throw to put on my lap. Oh, it feels so good. There we go. There we go. Come on in, guys. Hit the thumbs up as you guys come in the building. I appreciate that love and support, guys. And just a little bit of love for the host. Come on in. Come on in, guys. Hit those thummy thumbs, please. Hit those thummy thumbs. Hello, guys. Come on in the building. I appreciate everybody. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and greet everybody. I'm going to say prayer first, and then I'll greet everybody, okay? So as you guys come in the building, please hit the thumbs up. We'll say our prayer, and then we will get into the show. So I hope everybody's having a good time. Remember, guys, feel free to bake in the chat, craft in the chat, laugh in the chat. Become family in the chat. Um, if you need your link dropped, our awesome moderators will drop the link. We got some great moderators in the building. Um, Mama J-Way, she's very, very amazing. My beautiful niece, Gigi's at God's Girl Creations is very amazing. My husband, Joe Sports and Ministry Talks TV, he's very amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the prayer, guys. It's Friday, and I, I really want to have as much fun as possible today, okay? I really don't want to delay it too much. I just want to chill, have a good day. It's Friday. I want to craft. I want to just sit here and chat with you guys while I make some stuff, and we just have fun, okay? So, Father, in my name of Jesus, I come thank you for another day, God. Thank you for waking us up, God. For those who have not been asleep yet, Father, God, I ask that you just give them a good sleep and a good waking up, Father, God, as well, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you just touch this chat, Father, God. Everyone that's in it, God, cover it with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, Father, God. Touch us, Father, God. Give us peace. Give us um, give us joy, Father, God. Give us love, Father, God. Just saturate the atmospheres that we're in, God. Moving our lives in a mighty way on today, God. It's the weekend, God. And we're just asking you why, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you just give us something to do productively, Father God. If we need relaxation or rest, Father God, I ask that you make a way that we are able to get it, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, if there's anyone who needs um, funding or, or um, any types of um, or, uh, financial needs, God, I ask that you show up with a, with a blessing in their lives with the overflow of increase, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, for anyone who's dealing with relationships, um, needs to be restoring, Father God, or reunited. God, I ask that you just move and show up like never before, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just want to keep our family lifted up and encouraged, God, on today. I want to keep our sister Cheryl covered up, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep her lifted up, Father God. I want to keep our sister Iris lifted up right now, Father God. Both of them are dealing with loss of parents, Father God. And we just ask you just to cover them and give them some peace, peace that surpasses all understanding, Father God. Um, and just give them some strength right now, God. It's, it's, it's going to be a rough road, God, but I hope that you can just make it easy. We all know you said your burden, um, what is it? Your your, your burden is, your, your yoke is, your burden is light and your yoke is easy. So, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you right now just to help them lift up their burdens, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, they cast their cares on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I just love you. I give you all the glory and all the honor. I ask you to check run smoothly, Father God. We bind up any trolls, any uh, spammers, Father God, any cyberbullying. And we just ask you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, let that be a good day. Uh, and we love you. We adore you. We appreciate you. In your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, guys. Come on in the building. Forgive me. I don't know what was just in my eye, but hello. Come on in. What are you guys working on? What you drinking on? What is going on in the chat? I'm going to go ahead and greet everybody, okay? I appreciate you for being here. Craft Hour with Triple C, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, and that is an hour. Sometimes we go a tad bit over if I'm a tad bit late. <laughs> so for the most part, we try, to do, we try to be a little timely here on that morning show, okay? So let's go through and greet everybody, and then we'll get into the crafts and the activities and just all the good fun and where our plans are going to be. So 
First of all, my, my beautiful niece is in the building. God's girl creations. Now, if you have been enjoying what she's been doing for you guys every single day throughout this week, the dropping of the, um, the, the links, the supportive greetings, the laughter, this woman is doing a live stream tomorrow morning. And in order to give back, let's go over to her house, okay? I'm asking you guys to go there. I'm dropping a link right now, all right? I'm going to drop this link in this exclamation mark holy. So the next link that you see Nightbot dropping, it will be her link, all right? Her mother's name is Holy Spirit Firefall, Sis Jane. And I'm asking you guys, let's be a support in God's Girl Creations live stream tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So um, I know there's some crappy lives in the morning. So that gives us some time after the crappy lives to go visit God's Girl. We can get a prayer in. We can listen to those who are praying, those who are worshiping, and also get a delicious Bible study, okay? So I'm asking you guys, if you've been enjoying everything that she's been doing, even if you're half asleep, just let her run. Go ahead and thumbs up, greet her, say hello, I'm watching or I'm listening. And just let her run if you have to go to sleep or if you got to go to work or if you got to go to church or if you got to go do some lawn work or laundry. Let's go support this woman. God's girl creations, my very own niece. Let's go support her. She's been helping out all week for the last two weeks. OK, getting up not and I having to do this and we appreciate her, guys. So let's go and show up at her live stream. She does it once a week, not even every single day. It's nothing even hard to remember. 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's 9 a.m. Central. 8 a.m. Mountain and 7 a.m. Pacific Standard. Again, if you're still kind of semi half sleep a little bit loopy, it's understandable. But can you please just let her run on your tablet or your phone or anything that you're using, your computer, laptops? She would definitely appreciate it. She's not asking, but I just am asking everyone else to pitch in and just show some love. When people are coming in and greeting you and dropping your link um, just to kind of give you some love, it's always good to get that love back. All right. So Coco's in the building. Hey, Coco. Come on in, guys. We've got great family in the building. Coco's on Team Gold. So she's one of the awesome sponsors of our channel, keeping it going. So if you don't know Coco, I'm asking you to get to know her today. Hey, Sharon, come on. Hey, how you doing? How you been? Charlene, how you doing? You know what, Sharon, uh, Charlene? Barbara Howell's been asking about you, okay? So I was just telling her that you've been coming to hang out with us, all right? She has been asking about you. Hey, Dina, come on in. Brittany, duh. <laughs> how y'all doing? I'm doing great, Dina. How are you doing today? Thanks for asking. Yes, her name is Haley, guys. Yes, she probably said it already. God's girl, my niece's name is Haley, okay? We call her Gigi because God's girl is short for Gigi, but yes, her name is Haley, y'all. All right, so guys, make sure you get with each other and check with each other, okay? Oh my goodness, Mama J Way's in the building. Hey, Mama J Way, this woman is amazing too. She's always helping people out, going to subscribe to people's channels, and I hope you guys are grabbing her back, okay? And, and checking out the videos that she has up there. Please go and check her back out. Thank you, love my cow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charlene. It's really, really soft, though. It really is. Um, I was just doing it for fun, and it ended up just turning into something I really like. And there goes JC on. He says, hi, Mommy. Hey, son. And let me see. Sorry I missed the last two days, including... Oh, no, no, no. It's okay, Dina. There's no worry. If, you, if anybody missed anything, I never try to hold it against anybody or charge it against them or anything like that because we do have lives. So I would never want to say, oh, you're not here. Only thing is I just hope and pray that you're safe. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. I don't have everybody's email to check on everybody if I don't see them. So sometimes I'm like, God, please just let them be safe. Let them be okay. But I think, you know, I, that's my prayer because I don't know, I have everybody's contact information, you know? But yes, please never feel like uh, you can't, if you're not here, there's a problem. I never want anybody to feel that way, okay? Remember that, guys. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a logical person. So I understand that, oh, if my chat is a little small today, I understand. You know, if, if this happens, I understand. I'm not, I'm never going to be this type of person where, oh, you know? I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about it. Let's just have a good time. Everybody say amen. Granny's in that building. Hey, Granny. I love y'all. How y'all doing? Come on in. Hit those thumbs up, please. It's just a sign of respect for the host. I'm going to go through. Remember, guys, you can always bake in the chat. If you're not a moderator here, type CC. And one of our amazing moderators will drop your link so that way people can get familiar with you, okay? If you're a YouTuber, the only way for people to get familiar with you is for you to be able to drop your links or announce, I have a channel. I have a giveaway. I have a new video. That's the only way for people to know who you are. Uh, a closed mouth don't get fed. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me see. Emily, go through. I'm guys. I'm I'm behind in the chat. So if you're coming in right now, you're like, where are you gonna read my comment? Yes, I am. I'm really behind. Uh, I'm a big talker. Uh, let me see. What Eunice is in the building? She says, "Good morning and happy Friday." Happy Friday to you, Eunice. Get out of here. This woman, I love this woman. Mimi's crafty Crowder. I love her. Okay, and we don't really get to cross paths like at, or, I don't be in her. Like I don't always get to go to her videos. She doesn't always get to come to my lives. But we know it's all love. When we see each other, it's always love. Yes, Mimi Scrappy Crojo. Uh, when I first started YouTubing, this woman has been in, like a really um, big inspirational person to me. Um, and 
I got to get back to more of our videos and supporting her as well. And, and just because I haven't been watching anybody's videos and um, I'm trying to get better at that. But this one right here is really big on support. Um, she was like one of the main people that I ever knew who started off supporting people, you know, besides, you know, I'm saying like doing like these challenging videos. I know my beautiful sis, Jeanette, aka Soraya, she's one of them as well. But there's not many people that I know that I knew where I was at, where I would see who was like adamant on let's get these links dropped. Let's support this person. Like, this is her, you know? So I was like, oh, this is okay. I like what she's doing. So that is good when you see people like that who want to support and want to get, you know, people's names out there. She's one of those people. So I really want to always give her name out there too. HD's in the building. Hey, HD, come on in, y'all. HD, what you got going on? You got any live streams coming up? I really want to check you out more, HD. I'm more of a live stream person because of my time schedule. I can't always watch lives. I'm trying to figure out a time where I can do it. Manda, we love you. How you doing, Manda? How you feeling? Um, we appreciate everybody that's in the building. How you doing, Coco? Everybody that's here, cousin Angie, welcome in. We love you, cuz. How are you feeling? Thank y'all so much for subscribing. Thank y'all so much. I'm telling you guys, we got some really good family, guys. We appreciate you. Yes, everybody subscribe to each other. Check each other out. You guys are the best family in the world. I see Consuelo in the building. Hey, Consuelo. I was okay, Dana. Just kept track of... Yeah, see, that's okay. Dina, it's okay. That's what We have those times, right, where you're just like, okay, what? It's 8 o'clock. It's 9. You know, like, we don't know what time it is. And we're kind of like maybe in a crochet mode. We're kind of like watching a TV mode. Like it's getting fall time. All the good shows are going to come back out soon. So I understand. You know, me, I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of having a good memory, but I'm also trying to write it down. Okay. So that's what I'm doing now. Yes. Please hit the thumbs up, guys. This is a sign of respect for the host. We got 22 in the chat. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Guess we're going to be praying for Granny D as well. I've been praying. We was, me and Joe was praying for Granny D last night. And we're going to keep continue to pray for Granny D. Okay. Granny D is dealing with a really bad sinus um, infection, I believe. I don't know if it's an infection. The Granny D, you said it's an infection. But it's been some really rough issues. Um, and, and that throat is so raw and sore. Guys, we got to just keep our lips up in prayer. In our ear pain, we're going to be praying for Granny D. We love Granny D. This woman is amazing. She's got to do a live today at 5 um, p.m. Eastern. You know, and she she's a hard worker, so she's going to do her live. Uh -huh. Because she wants to keep those numbers going. She wants to keep that um, thing going. But she does do lives Saturday and Sunday too. You know, so we're going to be keeping the granny lifted up in prayer. You know, and um, we are. We're going to lift her up. So we're gonna, whatever we can do, I don't, I don't, I know she got to talk because she's a host. I wish we could do something where she didn't have to talk as much, you know? Um, yes, we got to make sure granny has you rest. I don't know what can we do for granny. Anybody know any hot teas or anything? Granny, I know you're a tea drinker. I don't know if anything's working. I don't know, granny. I wish I was closer and. I could do whatever. I wish, you know, because that medicine, it feels like it should be working, right? So, um, Eunice has a live, you're having a Sunday morning live stream this Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Well, you know where I will be at, Eunice. Let's see. So, coach, crochet culture. Eunice, I wish I could be there. I have to go to church. But I will be letting people know. I'll let people know tonight in my live stream as well for people to know. 9 a.m. Eastern time. All right. I know my sister Jeanette, she does go live at 11 a.m. Eastern. So I'll let people know that too as well. Okay. So we got some good live stream. Okay. Let's see. Let me keep going, guys. Love you all. Yes, please thumbs up. This is a sign of respect for the host, guys. Uh, I really want to get to what we're talking about today, but we just got started by hitting the thumbs up. If you like the stream, you like me, um, you just want to be a blessing, you want to show love. Um, please hit the thumbs up. That's everywhere you go. Okay, that's everywhere you go. If you if you're in a live stream chatting, hit the X on the chat. If you're on their phone, there's a chat button, and right there on the right top corner of the chat, like right here, hit the X real quick. After you hit that X, um, there's gonna be a thumbs up. The thumbs up means like. So hit that like button, the thumbs up button. Then hit chat again, and then you're right back here. If you're on your computer, just just swipe, just scroll up a little bit, or yeah, scroll up, and then there's gonna be a like button. So please. Can we get a thumbs, guys? It's just a sign of respect and a sign of love for me because I love you guys, all right? Um, yes, we gotta pray for Granny. And JC on is dropping his link. If you don't, if you see JC on as my son, he's gonna start his channel off. His channel was taken down by YouTube, unfortunately. And so he's trying to get it back up again. So we're gonna be helping him get his numbers. Let me see what everybody's saying. Four man, Kenny, come on in. Oh, mine is playing where central, but you're here. Oh, my goodness, mine, that's what I'm talking about. Kiki's in the Get out of here. Don't you dare tell me Kiki's in a building. Kiki Crochet is in a building, guys. She is one of our amazing sponsors, guys. If you do not have her, I'm asking you to grab her up, guys. 
<clears throat> this woman is amazing. And this seems like just yesterday where we met Kiki and now she's over 1K subscriber, doing an awesome job with all of her amazing projects that she's made, teaching and helping so many people. Um, welcome in, Kiki. I appreciate you for being here. And um, Dina has uploaded more videos yesterday. Last Saturday, you had 100 family members. And you woke up to 91 and gained two more. That's, yep, YouTube is doing that right now. So don't get discouraged. They're kind of like taking them away, kind of combing through them and adding them back. So if you see that, guys, please don't get discouraged, all right? Um, let me see. Hey, D. Um, let me see. They're saying turmeric tea or peppermint tea. Thank you, Mimi. And um, Eunice says, D, try some turmeric, uh, apple cider vinegar with some honey. I make it as tea as well. Really? Oh, my goodness, y'all. We got to just keep looking it up. And um, Cousin Angie says, get some ginger for you, Granny D. Any way you can, preferably, preferably tea. It's a cure-all ginger is? Wow. Okay, guys. Ginger is good. What am I wearing? Oh, yes. I robbed my husband for his cardigan, y'all. For those who do not know, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, guys, you will see me wearing this. Well, not me. You'll see Joe wearing this. On Mother's Day, we all wore purple or this color purple. And uh, this is Ombre by Red Heart. And uh, so we all had to wear purple. And yesterday, I decided to snag this up because I was chilly. Last night's stream, I was chilly and I grabbed Joe's um, cardigan up and because I don't have a cardigan yet. Um, I'm going to be making me like a cocoon or something very soon. And um, I know Mama J Way is designing one. So I'm going to be making a cocoon very soon for me. Something I can wear to bowling alley, something I can wear it during the live stream, all that good stuff, right? So I'm going to be doing that very, very soon. All right. So until then, I'm going to be stealing my husband, <laughs> stealing my husband's stuff. Oh my God, Kiki's over there cranking out some scarves, y'all. This woman, if you want to learn about uh, like using knitting machines, I definitely will recommend you to Kiki. If you want to learn about some different crochet techniques, I will let you recommend you to Kiki. This woman is amazing. Um, the first night we, I, I've always admired her work, and I told her this when the first night she came to our uh, live stream. I was always like, I, I admire your work. I love your work. And um, I was like, oh, she just like helped me right away. Very, very helpful. When you got that spirit of help, you know, like she has that spirit of help. So please get with Kiki's crochet. I, I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to love her. Um, Froggy's in the building. Hey, Froggy. Good morning, Froggy. How are you? I'm so happy that you're here. I'm fangirling, Froggy. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm so happy that you're here, guys. If y'all don't have Froggy with knitting, grab her up, guys. What are y'all waiting for? She's a Froggy who went knitting. And guess what Frog stands for? Forever relying on God. What? Yes, yes, yes. You said such knowledgeable, yes, such knowledgeable people here. That's why I always say, guys, when I go to my favorite live streams, I always grab a pen and a pad. I never leave and go to anywhere. Of course, I got to go to church with my pen and pad. <laughs> but when I go to my live streams, guys, I have to have my pen and my pad. Because a lot of times I'm asking for info. I'm over there begging for info. <laughs> or, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm always begging for somebody's info. Or um, if I'm not begging for info, guys, I'm people are dropping info out. So I'm trying to get it, okay? What, Mondo, your roll counter has never worked on your Sancho. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so sorry. Well, I will give you guys a link to get your new roll counter if anybody's interested. This is heartbreaking. And I wish Helen was here. I got a message here. Helen, um, I have a message. Um, Helen, Helen J here. So, guys, anybody see Helen J here? Please let me know. I want to get her some love. All right, I'm gonna give you the link for a new one. I'm so sorry, guys. This has replacement parts for your central and or Addies. Okay. Um, if anybody needs anything, all right. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's really heartbreaking. You got no iris over iris breast crochet. Please keep it up in your prayers. Um, let me see. She um hers will never work even. Okay, let me see. What is all they got right now? Um, where we at? Where we at? Here we go. I'm gonna copy and paste this link in the chat for anybody who has those, okay? All right, and yes, Kiki's saying hi to everybody in the chat, guys, okay? Cuthbert Drake's coming in the building. How y'all doing? I'm so glad that y'all are in the building. Thank you so much, Froggy. Thank you. You know you are very sweet. Oh, look at look at Cousin Angie said she's going over to Kiki. That's what I said. We got, we got good family here, guys. Remember that. We got some good, crappy family in the chat. Nancy, how are you doing? I appreciate you being here. The nuclear is fat. 
don't do me me you know i love a new i love a new when i first did my first ever shout out video i shouted out a new i love her does she see that's what i need i need something i can just whip up i need something to wear at the bone alley i can't i know i can't wear joe's because joe already said joe already said he doesn't want me to wear this anymore okay and um so we can't do that joe hit his um 1k as well last week so we got good family hitting there was 1k's guys um, we got new memberships, and so um, if, if anybody hasn't been here, um, every month, at the end of the month, we put all the members on a wheel, so you'll be able to get promoted no matter what, okay? So you'll always win. If you're a member, you're always going to win. You, you're an investment here, so never feel like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So just remember that. Every month, at the end of the month, we'll put you on a wheel, and you will be um, able to grow, and um, not to grow and let go. You'll be growing and no stop, okay? It's been amazing, Joe. We 1K family and two. 1k vids oh my goodness what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about love it um and coco says i'm having a birthday month giveaway come on after see you guys let's go if you don't have coco she's at cocktails and crochet with coco and she's doing a giveaway guys so every single day she's doing a qualifier so go and jump in because if you keep qualifying i don't know if she's taking you off i'm not sure but i can't don't don't give me quoting but every day she does a qualifier and then she's going to do the big reveal the big spin and then guess what you guys can pick Okay, so let me see. Charlene says, Ruby, did you see my email I sent you about a week ago? Teacher hasn't started yet? Okay, okay. And then I do that too. I must have that. Gotta have it. Have your pins and your pads, guys, okay? What? Two super chats. What are y'all doing to me right now? We got my husband. Say, so you are amazing. Two, I just love. I love you too, honey. What is going on, y'all? Oh, my God. Y'all are so sweet. And look at Heather. Heather comes in with a super chat. Guys, let's grab up Heather. Let's grab up Joe. They both got their own commands. Joe's is exclamation mark. Joe. Heather's is exclamation mark Hicks. What is going on? Do I need to play the Super Chat song? Or do you guys, is that too early for that? <laughs> I always want to play it, but I'm like, is it too early for a Super Chat, guys? I don't want to scare anybody away. You're like, what is a Super Chat song? But I appreciate you guys. Should I just play it for once? I got two people Super Chat. I just want to know, want anybody to feel bad. Maybe I'll play it and then cut it off, and it'll be like a little short thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a little intro. I'm just so happy. Thank y'all for the Super Chat. Last time Heather Super Chat, I did not get to play the song for her. Maybe I will play like one, like I'll play, it's a longer song. So I'll play like maybe 10, 20 seconds. Okay. So shout out to you, Heather. Shout out to you, Joe. Please grab them up, guys. We're about to get into our announcement and then we'll get into the topics for today. All right. I'll be right back. Give me about 10 seconds. I'll cut it short. Okay. Love you guys. Hey. All right, thank you so much for that super chat, guys. I'm sorry, I just cut it short. It's something short and sweet and simple. I didn't want to take forever, but I just wanted to show love to the super chatters, guys. Please, please, please. Look at Heather said, No need for a song. Well, you know, I just want to do a little quick. It was a quick boop, okay? Just a little quick boop, but um, please, guys, support Heather. She's at exclamation mark hit. That is her command. She's on Team Gold, <laughs> and my husband's on Team Gold as well. And his um, his command is exclamation mark Joe. Yes, oh, y'all so sweet. Heather said, Love you too. Y'all are the best. It's, it's amazing to have family here, knowledgeable family, helping family, you know, all that. It's really, really amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, what are we doing, guys? Everybody showing some love. Okay, so anybody have announcements? All right. I was trying to find some announcements for this crafting. I didn't really get a seat in there. I know Michaels, they have the 40% off one coupon. I know Joanne has 60% off one item as well. So um, I lost my hook. I got an announcement. I lost my K hook from Hover. Uh, and so I'm going to be grabbing up Joanne's. I'm going to go to Joanne's and multiple transactions and grab those hooks again. Um, because I really like clover hooks. I know they're plastic though. I know the bigger hooks are plastic, but I'm working with the K hook right now and I wish it was clover. I really do. I wish it was clover right now. I don't want it to be um this hook. I, I mean what I like the handle, I like it, but I just want it to be clover. Something about clover's hooks are just clover. Okay, so everybody look, oh Dina has joined several families, guys. Okay. So some that's good, but like remember, guys, also it's good if you don't join right right back just because. Sometimes you got to give it a little second. When you like join and join, and they're both content creators, it looks so kind of weird a little bit. So just give it a little time. You don't have to join right back in, but make sure you plan on joining, okay? 
Um, just because sometimes they'll be like, oh, these content creators are just all joining each other. What's going on here? Are they even making a powwow of content creators and just joining? Like, you know, YouTube is trying to just take our, our happiness. Oh, and Coco's has 25% off all yarn at Michael's. Oh, yes. And do they still have to buy one, get one half off at Michael's? I don't know how long it lasted. Look, there goes, look, Kiki just said it. Michael's has buy one, get one off. Yep, yep, yep. And then you can put a 20% off. Oh, ooh, Jesus. Do you see that? Look at Kiki over there loading up the cart. Kiki, how many carts have you loaded up? Kiki, just tell me, please. Oh, my goodness. Look at Heather. Heather went over and bought your pattern today, Coco. Wow, see? Nothing but good support. Nothing. I, many of you saw the pattern I posted on my Instagram and uh, shared as well. Um, he, Coco, she is a new up-and-coming designer. We got some great designers in the building. My cousin, Angie, she's a designer as well. So we got some really good designers. Her name is Angie, but she's over at Loving Every Stage by Ruby Baby. So we got a lot of designers here, y'all. Um, you hate to misplace the hook. Oh, I know. I have no idea where it is. I don't know. It could be down here. But I don't even know. I don't think it should be down here because... I never use it. I, I have no idea, y'all. I'm just so hurt. I, I just need it. I'm going to get it back. Yeah, guys, we also have four platinum members floating around. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, honey. Yes, have you seen about dropping memberships, dropping names? Those are our, our, um, our members, our um, platinum members. And so they will be uh, circulating throughout the chat because they are the top members. And um, I'm asking you guys to please grab them up, support them as well. Good morning, V. Hello. V is over at Steelza, Steelza Show Crochet and Chefs. This woman is amazing, guys. She does a really awesome live stream. If you do not have her, I'm asking you to grab her up. She's doing a crazy giveaway. She's going to be doing her um, announcement on the night, three days. And then she has another giveaway. When she has 1K, she's filling up four bags of yarn. Every day, she just loads them up. It could be yarn, hooks. It could be stitch markers. It could be needles. It could be all kinds of good stuff. So she will be loading those bags up with goodies. Not only is that, she's doing a numbers game today where you'll be able to Win some stitch markers. She loves to give away stitch markers. Her stitch markers are very top quality, guys, okay? Very top quality. Welcome in. Oh, my goodness. Cousin Angie just finished writing her second pattern. This is crazy. I can't wait to see. Cousin Angie, I love every stitch by Ruby Baby. is a fashionista, so she does really gorgeous work. I can't wait to see. This is amazing, guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Remember, guys, let's, let us know whenever you guys got your patterns are dropping so we everybody can know, you know, we got some good supportive family in here. <clears throat> Kiki says, I placed my order yesterday and only paid $8. Lord Jesus, are you serious, Kiki? This is crazy. This is so crazy. Okay, you can't do your live channel. So sorry, Veronica. Well, um, you're going to be doing this, what, Sunday still? Sunday, 6.30 Eastern? Okay, it's okay. I know sometimes we have those days where we can't do our live stream. But don't you get down. Maybe do a video or just relax. You know, whatever happens. Don't get discouraged. We love you. I understand. It's okay. And Mama J says, Dana, you such a blessing with your golden nuggets. That website just saved me. Oh my goodness, you're so welcome. Mama J Way, I'm so happy. You know, I, you know, it's all about knowledge, guys. We all come together with our knowledge. We we don't, we're not the type of people that's gonna hold anything back. You know, all this type of stuff. It's just about showing love, you know. Okay, let me see. I love you guys. Let me go into the chat because we only got uh 30 minutes left. So I'm gonna go into the topic of today. It's basically what's your preference? I know we've done it so many times. So many times, but I figured I really didn't want to go into anything heavy on a Friday. Um, I just figured it's kind of a chill day because I'm crafting. So I'll show you what I'm working on, and then we'll just kind of get into the questions and chat and all that good stuff, all right? Because, you know, it's one of those days. It's Friday. It's just a chill day in my eyes. I feel like Friday's a chill day. I don't know how y'all feel about Fridays, but Friday, I really want to be a chill day, <laughs> even though I still got work on Friday. <laughs> um, for many of you who do not know, the beautiful Sandrine McKinney, a.k.a. T. Boo. Clovers are the bestest. Yes, clovers are the bestest, guys. I hope I'm not lagging or anything, guys, because I feel like um I'm chatting and some people are not answering a little bit later, but I don't know. I just hope I'm not lagging. But also, um, so Sandrine, aka T the Boo, got us doing the Hound Soup stitch. And um, you know, Hound Soup has been around for a while. I've always said I was doing it, I would do it, I'd always say I was gonna try it out, and I never did. I never even looked into it to see if it was um hard or easy. I never looked into it, right? So Tita Boo has been doing a um, pocket shawl with using house to stitch, right? And so she's like, you can do it. You can do it. I was the one making meat yesterday. Many of you know I do making meat Thursdays, 530 Eastern. So she comes in. She's like, you know what? What kind of yarn you want from Michael's? Mother? Don't do that. Please don't do that. I don't know, honey. If you want to do surprise me, you can. I have no idea what I want from Michael's. I have no idea. Um, Maybe if they have any cheap cakes, like latte cake. I never tried latte before. 
I don't know, honey. I don't even know that. Oh, they do have a crab smart with like variegated yarns. Everybody been telling me it's like um Nicole's stitch studio. It has like the variegated kind of nice little yarn. Really, I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it. I don't I never been on there. No, I haven't been on Michael's in a long time. And the only time I did go, it wasn't for yarn, it was for accessories. But yeah, so Tita Boo has been um she kind of helped us start doing um hounds too. She said, I'm challenging every all my crochet family to make a hounds to um dish cloth. So I started mine last night in the chat, and this is what I got so far. I did a um hot pink or like a pink, I should say, and a black. She's doing black and white for her hounds too. And I figured this is what I'm gonna do. And I was gonna do a dish cloth, but guess what? I decided to change it to a crochet pouch. So I'm gonna keep going and then I'll stitch it up and all that good stuff and make me a pouch. Get her the new craft smart. Thank you so much, Kiki. Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want. No, Kiki, you so amazing. I'm so glad you came in here. I'm so happy. As I told you guys, Kiki's always really, she's a really true, helpful woman. Um, so yes, look at this. Um, this is what I finished. And I'm not finished yet. Okay, I'm gonna admit it. I'm not finished yet, but I'm gonna keep going. And I figure I was like, I'm like, I want to make a pouch for my um hooks. And I was like, is this gonna be long enough? Look. It's actually long enough. So this is going to be um, pretty nice. I'll probably line it and then have it so I can, you know, keep it with me. And I'll put my hooks in. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, Mimi. And because I, I made a cowl and fingerless set in the house, too. Oh, that's what I want. I want to make a, I'm going to make an ear warmer. I'm going to make an ear warmer. That's one of my next thing. I don't know what color is yet. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And so what I'm working on right now um, is an Afghan. My niece Kelly at Kelly's Crochet Adventures has me doing Afghans. I'm gonna be honest. I've never been an Afghan person in my life. People are like, oh, what do you do? Do you make blankets? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm more of a clothing gal. I am. I, I love my clothing. But I'm working on Afghan. And look what I got so far. Mama J Way, did you say do four rows of this white or the two rows? What do you guys think? I know Mama J Way was telling me, but she's like, do two to four rows because I did 12 of the gray. And I'm trying to figure out because I'm going back into red next. Red is coming next, but I'm trying to figure out. Do I need to just keep it like this and then go to, um, you know, go to the red now? Or do I need to just maybe add another row or two more rows? Hey, Brenda, come on in. You saw you late. You working. Oh, you wait. In a, thank you. Brenda, please go visit Brenda, guys. This woman is amazing. Go visit her. Her channel is off the chain. We got some good person. Four rows back? Okay. All right. Thank you, Consuelo. What do y'all guys look? But look at it. It's a, um, I got it from the weekend. Um, what's it called? It's just, a, you know, it's not really a crazy pattern. If you look at it, it's not nothing um, extremely hard. I'm using a K-hook so it works up really quick. Um, and it's just, you know, I was going to do my same one I've been doing. But I said, you know, it's time to do something different. Don't do the same thing you've been doing. And Brenda said, can anybody drop her link? So I said, you know what, let me just do something I haven't done. Like you said, see, it's simple. It got the shell in the middle and then, like, your doubles on the outside. Um, and it works up with a K. So you'll see, like, a little bit of space. So you're probably like, oh, is your tension loose? Well, I'm using a K-hook. It works up quick. Um, I like it. It gives that height. Because um, I was kind of worried about the space. I'm a, I'm a person who likes, you know, my stitches really kind of filled in, closed in. But if I'm using a K-hook, I know K-hook is going to have a little bit of, um, it's going to give it a little bit of a, what is it called? Have, it's going to have some spaces in between the stitches because it's going to actually allow for drape. And that's why they wanted to use a K-hook, I'm pretty sure. Um, because it's a lap, it's a weekend and lap, um, weekend and F, what is it called? F getting the weekend. And, um, it was actually smaller. I made it bigger. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, everybody. Elizabeth is one of those top platinum members, guys. Get with Elizabeth, guys. Let's show her some love. Hey, Oreo. Come on in the building. Oreo, how you doing? Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are amazing. You listening while, you, while you're getting ready for work? Well, I appreciate you, Elizabeth. And I promise I hope you have a beautiful day of work, okay? So Coco says two white. Joe says four. Anybody else, guys? We got one, two, one, four. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, Elizabeth, I appreciate you and I love you so much. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for um, being who you are for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, so, Miss Ophelia, Miss Ophelia, I love me some Miss Ophelia. How you doing? Miss Ophelia has really joined the family and just like really just came in and really like um, seriously like was like, yep, family. So four. Okay. So we got two fours, guys. We got two fours. Anybody else? I'm going to keep going. But yeah. So this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to get this baby done. I'm doing a gray and then I'm going to do the white. And I figured... The white shouldn't, I was going to like, should I do it even? You know, I'm like, oh, I should do even. But that white, you never know if it gets dirty or whatever else. I just would rather have it as an accent, right? I would think the white could be better as an accent compared to a main color. I think I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so you guys can see my hands. I don't care if my, hip get, my head gets cut off a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> that way we can craft. You said, who did the houndstooth? I want to see if you, 
if I can do, oh my, the good, the hound suit is so amazing. You can do a chain, however you want to do a chain of whatever, right? And uh, it, what what I did was, I just, I don't even know exactly what chain I did. I think I chained maybe about 28, 26, I'm not sure. And I did my, I did a single crochet and a second chain from the hook. And then I did a double crochet in the next stitch. So every chain, I did a single, then I did a double, single, and a double, and every other stitch all the way down in one color. After that, I changed colors, and I alternated. So if I started, whatever, I, you know, like if I worked a single crochet inside of a double crochet. So if I look at my stitches, like, oh, this is a single, I made sure a double was on top of that. If it was a double, I made sure a single was on top of that, all the way down in the second color. Then I go back row three, I'll go back to color A, alternating, making sure I'm doing the opposite stitch in each one. Row four, I'm going back into color uh, B, and I'm doing the opposite stitch in each one. And it's very simple. You can Google it. I'm telling you, you can Google that um, hound suit, and it's gorgeous. You can make your ear warmers. Um, I'm going to make an ear warmer with mine. And um, you can do skirts. You can do beanies. It's amazing. You can do your dishcloth. It gives it that classic look. Um, and I know a long time ago I was going to do it because they had slippers, they had the skirts, they had everything, the ponchos. I was like, ooh, this is like a classic look. It's like a little chic look. And then I straight away, and I never did it again. You finishing a lacy scarf? Get out of here, Consuelo. That's what I'm talking about. You're fine. You are fake. We are your face and hands. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here with us. Oh, you on Twitter? I'm not on Twitter, though. Anybody on Instagram? On Instagram. Um, you say you try Facebook Marketplace and a few other places. Yes, there you go. Yep, try it like that. And just post every single day. Don't get discouraged. Remember, guys, if y'all want to sell things, do not get discouraged. Just keep posting. People, people got to see. Get, people, more people have to see you. Some people get on Facebook throughout the week. Some people get on Facebook throughout the weekend. So you want to keep posting, you know? Asking people, what do you guys think? You like this color? Should I use red next time? Like, you know, get your people involved. And also posting your personal page. YouTube, Instagrams, and um, Facebooks don't always promote the like pages on people's uh, newsfeed. They don't. Um, so they're starting to do mine a little bit, but not as often. But still, um, always remember posting a personal page. If you got lots of friends, get them. And, you know, even if you, or if you have another page, get you a nice page where you got a lot of people. Not just crocheters, but I'm talking about people in the community, people that your friends, old schoolmates. Get all those people on your page and post all your stuff so they can like, oh, you crochet or you knit. They'll access that. You knit? <laughs> but seriously, get those things made up so people can see it. If you just put on a like page, a lot of times people won't see it. And then a lot of like people on a like page might be crocheters. And so they're not going to want to buy anything, nine out of 10, because they already can make it. But, you know, all those good things. Good morning. Hello. Britain Homestead, you've been coming and having fun with us. Come on in. How are you doing? You made a housing? What's a housing? Good morning, Donna. How you doing? So two or four white, then red. Okay, so I'm going to do the four whites, and everybody said four. Then whenever you put a cow over um, head, I think of Jesus and how you look like Mother Mary. Oh, thank you. So You're so sweet. I kind of get a little Jesus feel, a little Mother Mary feel, I should say. I love this, though. I do. I really love it. I, I love this. It's really soft. I never would wear cows, and if it wasn't for Tess over at um, love this yarn, aka Snow White. She came up with this Outlander cow, and I've been making them up every chance I get using my chunky yarn. I always ran from chunky yarn. I don't know if anybody else has been a runner of chunky yarn, but I've always ran from it. Like, <laughs> no, I don't want chunky. And this pattern is really good because it ca it's all, it calls for about 180 yards, 175, 180 chunky. You can whip that up in no time. Okay. So, we're doing a bit of what's your preference today. Just having a little chat while we craft because I'm working on the Afghan and many of you are working on things. I don't know what you all are working on, but feel free to chat. Tell us what you're working on in the chat. But today, the first question I'm going to talk about is preference. So we're saying yarn, guys. What is your favorite type of yarn? And when I say type, I'm talking about material. Are you guys um, acrylic fans, bamboo, um, you know, cotton, silks? What is your favorite types of yarn, guys? And we'll just ask these questions. So if you just answer that one question, then we'll ask the next one, because I know that question can be open-ended. But the first one is just what types? So far as your acrylics, your silks, your bamboos, your, you know, all that good stuff. Your, what else can it be, guys? Your wolves, your angoras. I mean, it's tons. And let me see what everybody's saying. Let me see. Let me see. Miss Ophelia said, I just scrolled through the comments. The Centro is on sale. Where? It's on sale? I'm not sure. I dropped a... um. I'm not sure. I did drop a link 
for this uh, website for anybody who needs replacement parts. Sometimes they even sell centrals on there if no one, if they're not, um, you know. So let me see. Anything soft and squishy for Coco. Good morning, Angela. How you doing? And Miss Ophelia said, I only work with acrylic. Yes, and I've always worked with acrylic too. But now I'm kind of getting into working with other yarns, which is really kind of fun. Um, so remember, always look for those seals, Miss Ophelia. That'd be a time to play around with different types. Because um, I have some new yarns too we're going to be playing with um, during the live streams too. And let me see what everybody's saying, okay? Um, did I miss anybody's comments before Coco's? Oh, and Nancy's working on a cow. All right. Make a chunky hat and a scarf, babe. Okay, I will, honey. Look at my honey. Look at my bags. Go make, make you one of those. Um, let me see. Anything that is soft for Mimi. And Dina says acrylic. Brenda says cotton blend or cotton 100%. I like it. Um, anybody else? Um, Consuelo says, I want to try bamboo. Use mostly acrylic and cotton. Oh, so that's what you usually use? Yes, you want to try some? I have some bamboo. I don't know how much bamboo is in it, though. Let's see. Let's see how much bamboo is in it. It's a premier bamboo joy. 50% of bamboo, 50% acrylic. It is very soft, though, guys. It truly is. It is really soft. I wonder, you know, if you, have you ever had any, like, the Chinese, um, any, like, Chinese cotton, baby cotton? This is what it feels like. And I wonder if they're telling us it's cotton, but it's really like a, it, it feels just like this. I have some of those little baby cottons, guys, and it feels just like this. Oh, this is gorgeous. I don't know what to make with it yet, so I'm, I'm going to figure it out. Every time somebody sends me yarn, I'm going to make a pattern in your guys' name. So you'll see that, or tutorial. Um, hey, Shelby's in the building. Shelby's one of our top-notch members as well, guys. Grab her up, y'all. She's dropping videos regularly. So I'm asking you guys to please short, support her. Shelby Jones, support her, guys. Um, okay, let me see. I miss anybody so far, Miss Shelby. We're asking everybody what's your favorite type of yarn? Your acrylics, your bamboos, all those good things. And um uh cousin Andy says she loves chunky yarn. Okay. Bamboo is lovely. Okay, and froggies, I like all yarns. My favorite is super wash wool. There we go. Super wash wool. And who is the cow? Who has that cow you're wearing? Um, this is a called an Outlander cow, Charlene. And it is by Outlander Cow. It's a tutorial. Okay, but I love this yarn. Let me see. Outlander Kyle. So you guys got some chunky yarn. Baby about a size six. Outlander Kyle. Bye. And this is a tutorial by Tess. And her name is Love This Yarn on YouTube. Let me see. Love. Love This Yarn on YouTube. So that's a tutorial, guys. Charlene says, Superwash. Um... Marino's your fave. Yes, and that's what I was asking basically. To, um, I wasn't necessarily asking size. I was basically asking um, type, like, you know, fiber uh, wise. Because what else is, I heard that it stretches a lot. Is that true? Oh, bamboo? I know like the trout, like the true boos, the cold boos. Yes, they, um, I've never used this one right here. Um, but like the true boos and the cold boos, the cotton, the cottons and the true bamboos, they can definitely stretch. And people who've made clothing with them um, have dealt with so far as when you block them, how big they get. Um, I've done several patterns testing with it. That's why I know I've tested patterns with um, a couple tops that call for true boot and uh, cold boot. And everybody who blocked them after they were done making these sweaters or these beautiful spring tops talked about how big they got, how, ex how much they expanded. And they're like, what do we do? So I don't know if it's best to go down a hook size and then block or just never wash. I I that's a good question. I, I don't know what happened if they washed them. I see the central on Amazon for 59 all the time. Yes, it did end up going up because of Christmas time and all this other stuff. It went up to about 80 bucks because I don't know if it went back down. It might have. You want to try milk fiber? No, it was milk fiber. You're allergic to wool, so I don't use it. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I use wool. I'm not, um, I'm not in any, um, I'm not in, I don't have any allergies, thank God. And, uh, and that's my favorite yarn is a soft cotton. I want to try bamboo. Yes. Donna says, I've been using 100% milk. Wow. Okay. I got to try this. Y'all got me wanting to try some new stuff. I like it. Let me write it down. So next, guys, now we're talking size. And many of you are already spoke on chunky. So when we say chunky, are we talking about size six, size five? How chunky are we talking? Are we going to sevens, eights? Where are we going, guys? What size yarns are we enjoying? Me, I'm a four gal, but I have been dabbling in a bit of three. Uh, but yes, let me write that down. Milk yarn, guys. I have been dabbling in a bit of, like I said, I've been dabbling in my... um. I have been dabbling in my size three yarn because I've been making a lot of top sweaters and things of that sort, and it's been calling for. It. And you said, "No, I don't want the stretch." Yeah, see, yeah, you don't want that stretch, so I'm not sure. 
Um, you know, I would say look up some more reviews. You can go on Ravelry if you're a fan of Ravelry, and then you can search that type of yarn, right? And then they'll tell you a whole bunch of projects people made with it. And then they'll probably some people do reviews and they'll say how if they liked it or not. So that's a good thing to do as well. Um, so that way you'll be you'll know. And um, let's see, Froggy says, I love four and five weights. Okay. And um, Coco says, I like anything three weight to a five. Okay, so that sounds good. And that's why I like this cow because it gives me room to work with some size six yarn. And my niece Kelly actually sent me some size six yarn. So I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to try some things out with that. And I can't wait. You have mercerized cotton. Ooh, I don't mind a mercerized cotton either because I know it's really good. It holds up in the wash if you're making bikinis or things of that sort. Or intricate pieces. And um, let me see. I love, okay, Mimi says, I love, excuse me, guys, I love three to four weight. Rarely use chunky, especially for, yes. See, I don't use a lot of chunky either. I never, I was always scared of it. And people would gift it to me and then I would re gift it. And now I'm like, oh, I wish I would have kept it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Oreo say, Froggy, how you doing? As well as I try all weight, it's, um, it alleviates some boredom. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, it definitely alleviates boredom when we start doing the same yarns over and over again. It's like, uh, you know, when you start trying some new yarns, it's kind of like, oh, I can play with that. And Brenda says, Dana, Hobby posted a pic of the shawl I made. Don't do me. Don't. Do what, Brenda? Did you guys hear that? Brenda made a shawl for her sister, and they posted it on the Hobby website. That is amazing. Congratulations. You deserve it. Wow. It's a true accomplishment. I love those accomplishments. I really do. I really, truly do, y'all. That's amazing. And um, don't miss everybody's comments. Um, and Jeanette says, I was told never block cotton. It loses its shape when you wet it again. Not the wool and acrylic that keep their shape. Okay. So that's what you, okay. Thank you so much, Anjanette. And uh, Froggy says, hey, Oreo. And Miss Ophelia says, congratulations, Brenda. And Miss Ophelia says, I like fours and fives. I like it. And um, Anjanette says, I, lo I love working with three and four. And I'm going to try working with some five and six for Christmas presents. What? Okay. And also, we're going into the next question. Now, when we're talking brands, does anybody have a favorite brand or are we just going for what's on sale? You like your Lion brands. You like your, um, um, what should I say, guys? What else? Your Lion brand. Do you like, um, what else can I say, guys? Your Red Heart. What do you guys like? Do you have, do you gravitate toward one scan, I mean, one brand? Or do you guys just, you know, jump all around? Like, my husband, he's a bowler, so he really uses one company. He sticks to one company. And when I first started crocheting, Red Heart was my only family member. I was like, I'm never going to anybody else. I don't care. <laughs> but now I'm like, I love everybody. I just want to have some fun. Yeah, as you saw, welcome, Brenda. Brenda says, thank y'all so much for the love. Yes. So, yes, guys, I'm, I'm, I am I'm like it all. Okay, Froggy's getting ready for our live, guys. We love you, Froggy. Oh, yes, it's getting time, Froggy. And um, Mama J says, I love Lion Brand and Premier. Ooh. And you know what? I, wanted, I love Premier, too. I never have ordered off of Premier's website. Joey's always going there and keep looks out for me. And it's been a while, so I'm going to have to remind him to go back on there because he used to always like, oh, babe, you should go on Premier and get this, get that. So I want to get back to Premier, guys, because they have so many nice yarn. They have tons. It's kind of like Yarn Bee. Yarn Bee has a lot of yarns like that, too. I know many of you know from Har uh, Hobby Lobby. I have never, I don't have much Yarn Bee yarn. I have a little bit of Yarn Bee yarn, but that's what I have more from um, Hobby Lobby because I don't have a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I was gifted like one skein. It wasn't like a full skein, but I was gifted one. It was like in a box that I bought. Oh, actually, I bought it. I bought a box of yarn from one of my awesome family members. She's a designer here in our city. And so um, I bought a box from her. And when I bought the box, um, what was I going to say? It came with like a skein, close to full skein of that. Um, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn in the color like um, Eagle Gold or something like that. I love you too, Froggy. Thank you for hanging out with us. We are amazing. And um, let's see, Red Heart, Karen, Lion Brand. Oh, okay. Dina says Red Heart, Karen, or Karen, <laughs> Lion Brand, and Burnett. Oh, you got some goodies. Ashley's in the building. Hey, Ashley. You watching the Ashley? We love you, Ashley. Thank you for being here. Mr. Fizz, I like Red Heart and Hoops and Threads, but I plan to venture out more. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with venturing out, having a little fun. Brenda says I jump around all, I jump all around. If it's on sale, it's fair game. I like it. As long as it's cotton and cotton blend, I'm in. Wow. So, Brenda, are you on the West Coast? Are you in the, where it's hot at? Because you study dropping these cotton bombs, and I'm trying to figure out the reason why you're doing it is maybe because you are in a hotter climate and you have no need for acrylics, wools, or things of that sort. And Anjanette says, I love Lime Brand. I have been enjoying trying the new blends that I get for my knit crate. Oh, see, that's what I want to do. I want a knit crate, guys. 
And Coco says, my three favorite yarns are three different brands. Mm, okay. Probably says, I like all yarns. And let me see. Are you doing good? Well, welcome in, Ashley. I know you was in the ads. I want to say hello. Welcome in. Thank you for watching those ads. Guys, Ashley's in that building. We want to show some love to Ashley. Yes. There you go, Brenda. You're in Florida. See, I know uh, Brenda had to be somewhere hot because Brenda's like, I'm doing cotton. Like, please don't talk to me about acrylics. I hear nothing. All I want is cotton. Yes, Brenda is down in Florida. Oh, my goodness. Thank y'all so much. And Donna says, I've been using that Be So Soft Baby Kristen Omadal yarn. She got her own yarn. Lord, I'm so behind. But I use Variety, Burnett, Red Heart, Hobby, Lo Hobby Lobby brand, and Dishy Cotton. Oh, so many yarns. I know, so many yarns, so little time. And I actually want to just play around with some different yarns. That's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be playing around with different yarns and, you know, making things with them. I got to say, everybody, a lot of people have been sending me yarn, best of yarn. So I'm never going to just like let it sit here. I want to shout you out. I want to make a pattern in your name, in your honor, to give you that love. If it's a written pattern and I'm selling it, you will get it for free. If it's a tutorial, you'll have that tutorial. Because I know some of my family don't have, don't read, they don't read patterns. So I don't want to make all these patterns up that no one um, will be able to do. I want to make sure I have tutorials for my family too. Coco says, actually, it's four phase by four. Oh my goodness, Coco. Oh my goodness, I appreciate y'all. Dana, did you get my two emails earlier? No, I haven't looked at any emails. I just woke up and came here. <laughs> I, I got to look at my email. I'll look at them in a minute. I sure will. If it's on sale, I'll buy it. What? That's what I'm talking about, Consuelo. I love a good sale. I haven't really seen many sales, but now Coco's, but now Kiki, she said, go over to Red Heart. I mean, where she said, go to Michael's, guys. I don't know if my husband, he's not in the chat. I'm thinking he might be on the website. <laughs> I hope so. I do have a stitch book coming, so I'm going to be creating some patterns next week. Remember, guys, every week I will be creating a pattern for you guys, so you'll be able to get it for free. You'll be able to get it for a discount, and uh, if just for those people coming to chat, all right? You guys are going to be a VIP family, all right? And our gold team people, you'll be able to get it anytime. So remember, once a month, gold team, if you um, would like a free pattern, you'll get a free pattern, okay? Gold team, gold team, remember that. If you guys are interested, you're able to get some. And uh, Anjanette said, it's soft and not as scratchy as the others, really? And um, even though people know, we got people, you still here, babe, thank you. And um, also, we do help people with their um, uh, Instagram. So remember that too, guys. Some people, uh, even if you're not YouTubers, you want some Instagram um, love or some Facebook love, let us know if you have a like page or if you have a um, Instagram, you want some more um, likes over there, you want more comments, you want some more um, engagement, let me know. Uh, we're working on all, we're working on all platforms to promote others, okay? Remember, we're promoting channels and we want to show everybody some love, guys. All right. So always email us if anybody's interested. And um, cuz as I pick every I pick colorways before I check brand. Oh my goodness, do y'all do that? Has anybody just like, oh, this color's good? I don't care what it is. I do that. I do it. I don't know. I'm building stock, I'm building stock in yarn, especially gift time. Yes. I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. Love a good deal. Yes, Mimi. You drive me listen. Thank you so much for listening. Be safe while you're driving, Elizabeth. We love you. And Jen said the best scrubbing yarn I found is scrubology. So you got me trying some new things. And cousin Andy says, never had premiere until premiere yarn until yesterday. Just first night 2000. It was long, long, long. So you got me excited. I want to try to um spin right. One thing I do want to try some spin right. So next, guys, we are talking about cake, Hank, or Skang. Guys, what y'all like? How y'all like your yarns? Um, can I see what you crochet now? Yes, I'm crocheting a blanket, Veronica V. V. I'm making an Afghan. And I just started yesterday. I just did a little bit of it. I'm just kind of crocheting a little slow because I'm just, you know, taking my time and chatting. I'm not really, I'm going to save for the bow night. When I go to bow night tonight, Joe has a bow. So I'm going to be just doing it with him tonight while I'm there watching him bow and cheering him on. Two, three, four. I'm going to use, uh, make your pattern up too, V, with your, um. thank you, V. I'm going to make your pattern up too for your chunky, chunky hat. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Veronica. And um, let me see, hooks. Okay, guys, so did everybody say that? Because we got about six minutes. Uh, do you like a cake? Do you like a Hank? Or do you like a skein? How y'all like it, guys? And Angela said, I still have never had a cake. That's sure. I basically crochet from skein. Yes. Like, I just started doing a lot of caking because I don't know why. I've been buying a lot of cakes for some reason. <laughs> thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I'm going to do it, guys. Yes, V over Veronica. She's over at Steel the Show Crochet and Chef. She has a delicious pattern. It is called Chunky Chunky Hat. So if you guys got some of the chunky yarn that you've been scared to use, 
that is going to be an awesome pattern she has. Hey, Hope 10, come on in. How you doing? So glad you're in the building. Please hit those thumbs up, guys. If anybody hasn't hit them, we want to see how many thumbs we can get, guys. You are the best family ever. And Brenda says, Cake, Skane, and Hank. LOL, I'm not picky. Cotton are blends. Cotton and blends are sometimes hard to find, so I will use any form. There you go. Both not picky. That's what I'm saying, guys. So also, what about hooks, guys? Are you all ergonomic type hooks, or do you just use regular hooks? Because I know some people do not like the ergonomic. Like my husband, he does ergonomic handles. Okay? This is one that I actually created just playing around. We had a hook night, and we were just baking hooks. So I like I like to play ergonomic handles. I like boy ergonomic. I do have my clover somewhere. I don't think I have it down here with me. I do have boy hooks. And my goal is to get some tulip hooks. And I think I'm going to be done. I do. I got clover soft. I clover more. I might try clover soft touch. Not sure. But I really want to try the tulip. If I can get any hook, I think I'm going to try to get that for Christmas. I'm going to invest myself for Christmas and, and give me some. Uh, what is it called, guys? Tulip hooks. I think that's going to be my present to myself. I mean, do y'all do presents for yourself? I don't know. Let's see. Hanks, cakes, or skate. I just want all the yarn. There you go. Look at Mama Jay. Just give it all to me. I, if you if you give me yarn or if it's on sale, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to turn it away. And Janessa, Dana, I do not think you saw it when I first came in. I sent you an email with the blogs that have downloads. And I promise you one other day. Oh, thank you. I didn't get to see. No, I didn't get to see the email. I didn't get to see. Thank you so much, Angela. I didn't see when you first came in. Thank you. You like the clay hunt? Yes, Joe makes a really nice clay. Do you make them as well, Brenda? Um, Joe is really good at making uh he's really good at um clay. He, he does a lot of clay work. So um he just started doing them. And I'm telling you, it's amazing. Clover and Joe's, who said that? Consuelo says Clover and Joe's. Wow, thank you so much, Consuelo. Consuelo, she was an awesome supporter when Joe started doing his clover his um polymer handle hooks. Consuelo said, I want to be a part of that, I want to support. And I was like, what? Because that was really sweet of her to do that. And thank you very, very much. I need to go, darling. Okay, see you Sunday at 6.30. Bye. Bye, Veronica. See you 6.30. Oh, my goodness. And um, Judith says, good morning. Good morning, Judith. How you doing? And Jeanette said, I love Susan Bates. Yes, I have furrowed and I love it. I got a special low price box they have for COVID. No. And Jeanette, get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Who got a chunky hat pattern? That is... um. That is going to be steals a show. That's Veronica at steals a show. Crochet and uh, chef. She just she just got out of here. Steals a show. She is um she has a really nice. It's called chunky chunky hat, and she has a tutorial for it. All right, so go over there and, and get that pattern. It's really nice, y'all. She makes a ton of them. She has made them with different yarns. She added the pom pom to them. She's taking to another level. I show Joe's up all the time. Do you can swallow? Look at that. Look at that love. See that? Thank you so much, Consuelo. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, red light. I never try to hank yarn. I love the clover 10 pack soft hooks. Yes, that's what I got too. Yes, Elizabeth. But I want to try the um the soft touch. I do have the um I do have what is it called, guys? I do have the a more, which are really nice because it got has like a little rubbery type of feel. And then they have a nice hook. But I want to kind of try the uh, soft touch, but I really want to try the tulip because the tulip comes in a pack. Soft touch doesn't come in a pack, you gotta buy them separately. But the tulip does come in a pack, so I'm thinking about trying it. I have fun, have fun camping this weekend. Yes, V is gonna be camping, y'all. She's gonna camp with the family. Isn't that amazing? What yarn did you use on your in your cow? This right here is loops and threads yarn. Um, country Lord, please. Country. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can look it up. Please forgive me, guys. Loops and threads, country something. Country of loops and Threads, country something, country loom. There we go, country loom, guys. And uh, let me see if I can find the color. I have no idea what the color is. Um, let me see. Loops and threads, country loom. It is in the color of. This color is called. It's two ninety seven right now. Michaels, what? Grab it up, guys. It's on clearance right now. Oh, it's out of stock. Lord, Lord, Lord. Is this color out of stock or the whole yarn is out of stock, Lord? Oh, well, Lord, I don't know if it's all the yarn. I'm so sorry. But I see a lot of it's out of stock. But it's called Nobility. This color is called Nobility, but it's really soft, guys. It really, truly is. It's worth the investment. Oh, my goodness. I use Tulip. Yes, you love them. See, I, everybody's been telling me Tulip is worth it. Everybody told me Tulip is worth it. That's why I say I'm ready. I'm ready to jump into a new brand. I am. And I think I'm going to be settled. After I get Tulip, I do have a couple. I do have one furrows. 
which is wooden. I'm not knocking it, but I just it's a different thing because I'm used to having my finger on my thumb got to be on something. I need something flatter in that area. And my um quote my furrows is round, and I'm just still not used to it yet. Um, but um, I, or maybe I will eventually. And uh, Angela says, I'm not sure if you remember the small craft store that used to be in Lincoln Way. It went out the business when I was about when I was about 22, and I bought every size. Susan Bates like, what? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure how old we are together because I'm 33. I don't know how far apart we are in age. And uh, I don't know about the craft store. Let's see. What well, yarn? Okay, I, I said that already. And I said that. Okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. We had our one hour. We didn't get to do all the questions, guys. We made, we made it to the hour, guys. Uh, but we'll ask some more questions. These are just some fun questions to ask while we're chatting. It's not necessarily like homework. We just get our craft on and waking up to the day and, you know, just having some questions to ask. But we did hear our guys, okay? He says, it's over by the airport. Oh, we're Four Seasons. Oh, my God. I remember Four Seasons. That restaurant? I wish they would have kept that baby going. <laughs> I found that restaurant maybe so many years ago when me and Joe would go there for breakfast. We would drop the kids off for school and then it would be just me and him. That was our date mornings. And then we started introducing the family and then we started having family time, which is great, but nothing like me and hubby. <laughs> Well, yes, I've never seen it. I never saw that craft store. I wish I would have been there. Oh, I would have been a baby. Oh, I was a baby and that. Well, I wish I could have seen it. But that's good when you can go load up. Um, I've been blessed with a lot of different hooks over the time period. People have been giving me like their grandmother's hooks who passed on and great aunt hooks or hooks that they had and they don't use anymore. You never tried for us and tulip. Yes, 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 yes. I have one. I was gifted one from my one of my good friends. Um, we was all giving each other things from Mother's Day. She blessed me with a um Hook for Mother's Day. That's what she gave me. You 50? Oh, God, you're Anjanette? Okay. Yeah, my mom is 52. My mom is actually 55 too. My mom is 5 too. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's what I want to do. For um, I want to try Tulip because I like, um, I like, what is this called? What is this genre called? I like um, Clover Soft Touch. I mean, Clover Amore. And Clover Moore and Tulip have that same kind of nice rubbery handle. With furrows, they don't have that rubbery handle. They are long for those who like a longer, if you do a knife hold and you like it, something to come out of here. So those are good, but they just are round. I'm not used to that round shape yet. I'm not. And I know it's probably good on the hand, but I'm just not used to it yet. I can't do it yet. Eventually, maybe I'll try it again, but I'm just, right now, I kind of like that rubbery feel. I do. And then even with a the polymer clay, you can kind of lose your body heat and stuff to like make it your own and it feels good. Okay, guys. So I guess we're going to get out of here, right? I appreciate all the love and that support. Guys, it has been such an awesome time. And I thank you guys. So remember next week, I'm going to be coming out with a new pattern. Also, I'm going to be um, coming out with a new pattern. Then we're going to do some different crafts. This week, we got to cover some beading and we use a knitting machine. We have some really fun times, guys. We do some packaging. We have fun. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. It is a weekend now, guys. And I hope you enjoy your weeks and your day and all that good stuff. You have a joyful day as well, Donna. Thank you so much for everything that you do. We love you and have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day, Shelby. Thank you for coming in. I know it's early. Shelby woke up early to hang out with us. You know it's early where Shelby's at, y'all. And um, Angela said, that shake makes my hand feel so good. I can crochet longer. My foot. Really? I, I want. I'm, I just want to say, I got to get. I got to discipline myself to do it. I haven't. I haven't yet. So I love you guys, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. But hopefully next time you see me, guys, I'll have some more of this done. <laughs> I love you guys. You have a great weekend. Thank you for hanging out with me, Craft Hour Triple C. You guys are the best. I love you all. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day and a great weekend. Love you all.